Okay, welcome back to Python with Andrew. And uh, we've got a series of videos where we're looking at classes and objects and object oriented programming. And in the first one, we basically created our first uh, class and created our first object. So if you haven't quite seen that video yet, I'd go back and look at uh, uh, that before going on with this. This one, we're going to carry on and say, let's add some more um, behaviors or methods to our um, classes. So let me jump over to our program. Uh, this is where we left off before. We defined a tennis player, um, and we said that a tennis player has a name, the number of games they've played, and number of wins, and their ranking. All right, and what we're going to do uh, is add to that. We created this initialization function, and that's all we've created so far. So now I want to create some more value to this class. And I'll also introduce some different terminology that's used. Now, the when we have a variable within a um, class or an object, we call them attributes. We don't call them variables, we call them attributes in Python. Some people might call them properties, but most of the time, uh, it's an attribute, and the and the sort of formal definition is that they're attributes. So attributes are things that we know about that object. So the name is an attribute. The game number of games that they've won uh, played is an attribute. Um, the number of wins is an attribute. So in this particular uh, situation, we've got four attributes. The other thing that um, classes or the definition has or objects have are methods. Now, we've used the word function throughout our time in um, Python, and a function is something that does some things. Well, a method is the same thing inside of an object. You can think of it as the behavior of that object or something that happens with that object. So the term is method, and methods work on attributes. Bit confusing because we had functions and functions would work on variables or arguments or parameters. But let's be very clear that we have attributes and methods. So already in this particular situation, we have got one method, the initialization method. It's a special case. And we've got four attributes, three that we set from input and one that we started at, at that one. So let's assume we wanted to create uh, another method, which, if you like, prints out uh, the player details. Print details. <coughs> and it's going to take an object. And in this case, we're going to simply go um, name. You'll notice I'm not doing um, any fancy printing at this stage. That's something we can worry about another day. Let me do four of them because I want to do four. Um, so we want to do games, wins, and ranking, rank. So I might just uh, do an extra space after these just so it looks like a little bit better. All right, so that is another method and it's going to be useful for us to help us, if you like, show the details. So let's go over here and um, I'm going to jump back and we had a couple of objects we created last time. I'm going to bring them back. All right, Andrew and Fred. And in this case, we want to uh, print the first one. And the way we refer to this is um, a this as a method. And we've already seen that plenty of times when we do 
string dot method, string dot reverse, or string dot or list dot sort. We've we've seen that before. That terminology where we're doing a method on the object. So let's try see what happens when I do this. There you go. Prints out quite nice, nice, nicely. And of course, actually, let me just put a. Um, spacer after that oops wrong way around my mistake all right and we're going to print out the next one which is tennis player two oops dp2 dot print details let me clear that Okay, so we've got a nice, simple way to print out uh, the details uh, of that. So it's always good to have, if you like, an initialization function to start us off, initialization method, my mistake, and then we have a print method um, so that we can see what's uh, in, in ours. The next one we're going to do is um, we're going to define one called uh, a, just win, right? And what that's going to do is if you win, it's going to um, update the number of games because you obviously played a game. And dot wins. Plus equals one. All right. And let's do something interesting and say you're ranking changes um and your ranking goes minus equals five right so you um if you like get a an improvement in your ranking now of course if our ranking well actually let's let let's make it a bit more tricky if self dot ranking is greater than five then that all right because if if you're ranked uh, less than five, we don't want you to uh, come like ranked zero. We could make that a bit more complex, but for this example, uh, that's fine. So I've created another method. But what happens if someone loses? So let's see what happens if someone loses. Lose. And self.games. Uh, goes up one, the wins do not go up. And let's say in this case, your ranking goes uh, down uh, three. All right. Of course, I'm making this up. Uh, this is not how it works in tennis, but it, it, it illustrates our example. So now we've got a situation where if you, we've got one, two, three, four methods. They're all a part of being a tennis player. I can't use them for golf players or anything like that. It works for um, oh, games. My mistake. Games. And they're all part of that, so they're encapsulated in that class. Uh, and now let's see what happens when we use it. So before we, um, well, let's after this, we're going to have tennis player one dot win. And tennis player two got lose. All right. In other words, Andrew played Fred, Andrew won, and then let's see what happens to our objects. All right, we'll print them out again. So let me clear that. So we had Andrew, they started off with uh, 35 games, okay, Fred ranking of 1,000. And you can see here, that after we did the win and loss, our object changed, all right? So we won, which is what you'd expect to happen if we play tennis and one person wins, the other person loses, their um, information would uh, change, okay? In my case, Andrew uh, got extra wins and his ranking kept coming down, um, whereas 
Oh, Fred, I made his ranking go up or uh, down. I should have said plus. There we go. I made a bug there. So let's try that again. Let's clean it up because we want, yeah, we want Fred to go the other way. We want his situation to be worse. Okay, so we have illustrated quite nicely what happens when we use classes and objects. So let's run through that again. We define the class and we know that we're going to have four attributes here. So we use them in the initialization. So the first thing we do is we create an initialization method and it looks like that. Then we say we're going to print out, we're going to have a, fun, a method that just prints out the details and we create that. Notice I keep using this self. That's so I can refer to the actual object, right? Self.name refers to the object that was um, that we're, we're do, dealing with down here, TP1 or TP2. We've got the print one, and then we decided to create two more methods, one if you win, one if you lose, right? And I know that my ranking formula is not very sophisticated. That doesn't matter. We could make it more sophisticated as we like. But uh, in this particular case, up to here, we have just been improving our design of uh, our class. Then we come down here, <coughs> we create one object, and then we start doing things with that object. We create a second object, we start doing things with that object. We print out the details, we do a win, we do a loss, all right, we could have another one where they play a game. Um, and again, uh, Andrew wins. So um, if I clear that out. If we just played that, uh, you can see that the ranking keeps going down over here for Andrew and keeps going up for Fred. Uh, so we could do those sort of things um, if we wanted to. And all along the while, the object of Andrew or Fred uh, keeps getting updated, keeps getting used, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's the next step of, of um, if you like, using classes. Remember the terminology? We have attributes, which we used to call variables outside, and we have methods, which um, we would often call functions, and they look like functions inside a uh, class. And the big trick is, when you use a method, it's always object dot method. All right, so tp dot method, tp2 dot method. All right, that's the biggest trick to, to remember. But remember, we have used these this sort of terminology before with strings and, and lists and dictionaries, um, with append methods and sort methods, etc. So we've used a lot of that already. Okay, so start practicing that. Um, see how you go. Let me go and let me know in the comments how you go with that. And uh, when we come back, we're going to try and extend this with a bit more complex uh, example and uh, see how we go.